Hello and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper and let's see what we move that out of the way on the table um what do we 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 have a we have a few things we need like we really need to do and that is for the astrologer get the acid that is super important to get that going. We need to... We need to see if we can... Uh, if we can... Um, get the wine for the Inquisitor as well, and then help Clotho. That's an important thing. Helping Clotho unlocks a new store. But for that we need a cauldron. And Cresswold, the um, the blacksmith has has a cauldron if you get his store to level two which might require some work um But for the time being, I think we should just tell him to keep on making grapes. Uh, what I could do is actually go in and say, do this forever. So it just keeps on going uh, for now. I could go in and turn it off later on, but I think for now, if he just keeps on making... Uh, making grapes for as long as possible that is going to be super good now this one i don't want to say forever because i want uh, control over which crop we make and how much of it we make uh we make and uh that means that that farm is going to have to be manually regulated all the time which is fine it's just going to just going to have to be uh, like attentive enough to actually remember that we <laughs> we need to go there and set uh say what they are going to do each and every time now you can queue up stuff if you tell them what to do and then uh, go into the crafting menu again and then keep on adding to the list. Now I'm going to get 20 clay. Uh, how is the durability of the shovel? It is complete trash at this point which um, I thought that it would be. I completely forgot we had a corpse here, so I think we are just going to burn this anyway, so it doesn't matter if we lose a progress. Um, let's take the blood and the fat. Uh, the skin, the skull, the bone, and then I think we are just going to burn the rest, yes. No, lagged for a millisecond there, that's 
why I dropped the body because I was about to I was pressing E to exit just that I wasn't really at the door which meant I dropped the body uh, right I I need um, some stuff It can we actually increase this a tiny bit more? I don't think we can unless we remove a incense burner and put down a candelabra and then put candles into it as well <laughs> at that point we might actually be able to but I think we're just going to not do that and just take the four candles we have and uh, do the ceremony get it over with and um, like that this and like this And I'd like to say a few words. Our church is great. Nice. And now let us pray for this blessing. At seven, we are going to get two more. Uh, so nine. The donations are welcome. Great sermon. And we are going to get some money. I think we have enough money at this point to... Uh, we yeah we should have enough money to actually buy what we need if we go to the dead horse and talk to Horadric sell these yeah we have 26 at this point which is five more than we need for the building permit um getting that done is super good because that means we can increase uh, we have more options for improving the inside of the church we are finally going to progress something i i know it's taken a while just that uh we have built a bunch of stuff, we bought some things, which means that it took a bit longer than maybe it should have. But building permit. Good. Very good indeed. I'm no fan of this modern architecture. There's far too much light in here for my taste. But our modern faithful citizens, they'll enjoy it. Mark my words, in 10 years, some of them might even learn how to read. What a crazy time this is. Indeed. By the way, I think you should make the donation box bigger. And speaking of donations, are you aware that in order to perform a ceremony in the big church, you will need to be a rightful citizen? Not really. Oh, then I must have forgotten to mention it. No wonder. I have so many important things on my mind. Just show me your rightful citizen papers and I gladly open the big church. Uh, yeah. And I don't think I have enough 
No, I do have enough. The trade license is going to be expensive. It's 50 silver. So, about the cathedral. I have the rightful citizen papers. Good, it wasn't actually necessary, I suppose. Who would ever know about your citizen except me? Oh. That's not fair. Think of it uh, as a test. Test of your faith, my son. Do you even know how hard it is to find someone who reaches my high standards? Ah, uh, you don't know, but I know. Even my brother disappointed me. But that's a, st a story too sad to be told. I need you to build a cathedral here. A really tall one. You and I, we will perform a great ceremony in this cathedral. We will pray f for the Vimara River to be filled with water. The town is dying without water. And I shall save the town. What about building a cathedral here? Let me guess. I will need a lot of graveyard quality and a lot of church quality. What a fine, intelligent graveyard keeper you are! Plus, uh, plus one for team, I was right about you. How many do I need exactly? Let's see, you have 30 plus 10, mm -hmm, carry the 3, move the 2, uh, then plus 5. Then let's double it for both sides and there will be... Wait, I lost count. Let's just say 50 church quality and 800 graveyard quality. Wow, 800 uh, graveyard quality? That sounds like too much. Mm, yes, you're probably right. Okay, we'll say 200. What about the town's cathedral? Why can't you perform this seminar in the town cathedral? Uh, well, technically we don't have cathedral. Our old cathedral's uh, steeple collapsed during the Great Blast. We haven't been able to rebuild it. No new construction isn't allowed to be taller than the king's palace. But out here we can build a cathedral with a, with a proper steeple. Yeah, so we have to get the church quality to be 50 and the graveyard quality to be 200. We need to double what we already have. Yeah, we have 108. We need to double it, basically. And we need to... Yeah, we need to double the church quality as well. Uh, which shouldn't be any major problem at this point. But... Yeah. Wooden church shrine... Should be... Something that we can place up here now. I'm not sure the stained glass window is possible to build in any other place than the cathedral. I um, haven't dev ever been able to build them. I'm not sure. Mostly because I haven't actually built the cathedral. Uh, either because I haven't gotten there, uh, got, got to that point, or I just quit before I got to it. Or I just started playing another game, which meant that I didn't play this game. So yeah. Um, uh, no, 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 no. And I can't remember exactly what we needed, so let's make some of these. Right, I need to fix the shovel. Axe is also really poor quality, but I'm not going to fix it just yet. Ah, oh, my nose. Just... 
keep on dripping or whatever you want to call it. Just feels like it's just never stopping. That's annoying. Oh, it's simple iron parts. Okay. But the other stuff was correct. Yeah, having the the incense um, things is not necessarily useful, uh, but they will be later on because incense gives you a lot more when it comes to uh, how much um, uh, what do you call it in terms of how much um, uh, it increases the church quality per candle or incense now incense is a bit more like resource costly when it comes to making them but it's not that bad um if we put this here and this here we could fit in like some candelabra over here Yeah, we will increase this by 10. So we are up to 35 already just by adding these two. Like adding the ch wooden church shrine is so good. It's super good. Plus we should be able to play some wall candelabra at this point. Um, oh, Yorick. Oh, how now nice to meet you here. These days I'm not often a guest in the material world. How so? Are you really interested? Well then, I'll tell you. I was elected as superintendent of the graveyard. It's a tough job. job. Not all the new arrivals are pleasant. It's a lot of pressure. Poor Yorick. Thank you for your kind words. Now I need to return to my duties. <laughs> yeah, that Yorick is a very moody guy. Um... Right, what I need to do is... Do this. Um... Here we go. Makes a bit more of that and I'm going to make 20 of the simple line parts and uh, I will then make some of the complex iron parts. Not sure how many but oh okay 12 let's go with 12. And this requires so much energy, it's insane. Let's pick up 12 of the simple ones as well, there we go. And then head off to the church and see if we can add some more things.
wall candelabra there we go yeah we can add four of them so one two three i don't have more any more resources uh but we could add one more on the wall you really should i'll add the wall wall ones as soon as you can because they don't take up any floor space which means that you basically get free church quality by placing the wall ones over placing anything on the floor and if you place the ones on the on the wall before the ones on the or uh, if you place the ones on the wall before the ones on the floor you will have an easier time to decide what should go on the floor later on now what i'm going to do now is sleep a bit because uh yeah we need to saving and there we go oh perfect timing let's pick you up just to shove you in there and uh, here we go now we need a lot more iron like a lot more iron is needed at this point Um, let's see if we can get yeah let's see if we can get like one more faith uh, could we please get a faith Please give me faith. Okay, I, what I'm going to do is leave the body on the, the preparation table. But yeah, it, it would be nice if we could... Um, We could get one more zombie we we need one more faith <laughs> just one uh how much right four four for the wall candelabra what i'm going to do is actually test something uh when it comes to the floor candelabra to see if we can place it close to the shrines up here let's see if we have the candelabra can we rotate them no we can't rotate them that sucks you can't actually like place anything here which is just a waste of space unless there's something else you can place there later on but well for the time being it's just wasted space we are up to oh we got one thank you uh, we are up to quality of 43 and i'm not sure how much more we can add we can add uh we could possibly add like two more incense burners or like two more candelabras or something at most we are going to get four more which means we are three away from having uh 
50. But anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is see if I can shove a bunch of stuff into storage and let's awaken the zombie. It's not going to be a insanely good one, it's just going to be a better than nothing kind of zombie. Let's teleport to the quarry. Let's go out. Uh, I think what I actually want to do here is leave you there. And I want to make a second porter station. For a very, very good and simple reason is that I want one of them to only do iron and one of them only to do uh to only do uh stone and then a third one to only do marble right uh so i'm going to go back at this point see if i can Right, what I should do is fill my inventory with coal because I'm going to need it. I'm going to need a bunch of coal. I am starting to get my supply of coal is starting to go down at the base, so that is why we are going to pick up a lot of coal while while we are here. Let's see. We want more, more of it see how much more we are actually going to get uh, or try to get I think we need we should get like some more 69, I think two more. Yeah, that's a good amount. So let's go with that. Let's put you over there. Let's pick this up. We didn't get... Any bees, but that is fine. We can just try to get more of them by... Nope. No bees. Okay. I think the drop rate for bees are actually quite low, so... Okay, no bees. Uh, yeah, as I said, I think the drop rate is quite low for bees, so... It's not guaranteed. Ah, let's see. Let's fuel this. 1800. I have 3640 fuel. And we have similar amount. 
Let's shove all the coal over there and uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, Oh, another one. Uh, right, I wanted to make a porter station, which require uh, like eight flitch and some nails. I can't remember how many, so let's take ten of them. And then I need to paper. So let's pick up two paper. Drop off the meat. I should sell some meat. Uh, to Horadric. Uh, wrap them up and sell them. Like four of them, basically. It will be some extra money. It's going to be good enough. This is just a, a resource corpse where I strip it of all the stuff I might need or want and uh, then we burn it because yeah, uh, we don't have any faith to um, spend on making a zombie so there's no point in even keeping this. We won't be getting any more bodies, which we should buy four more. But we'll see what we do. There and shove the meat away. No, I, I no, I should I should pack the meat. I should pack the meat. What I'm going to do is actually shove the two paper there so I don't use it. And then let's package this up with six. Yeah, let's do six of them and um, let's pack this up. Uh, what I'll do is actually go down here. I'm going to run to the to the tavern to the uh, dead horse and uh, then I will teleport up to the quarry and uh, make the porter station as it clo closed for now okay all right it's the wrong one uh, it's this one And okay, you have congratulations. The new church is a big deal for uh, for our the village. Uh, soon enough, I will. Uh, I'll oh, that English did not work. <laughs> uh, sorry, I missed that. <laughs> yeah, I was. A bit too thrown off by uh, by that, but yeah. Here we go. Sold a bit stuff. <sighs> uh, we have quite a lot of perks at this point. Yeah.
Uh, right, let's teleport to the quarry. Let's go out. Let's make the portal station. I think we should make this one down here first. Right, you only need four nails. Okay. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do before I actually add this zombie into the portal station, I'm going to set up this portal station to be what I want it to transport. Um, I'm going to keep the iron ore block, the coal, the iron ore, the silver nugget and the gold nugget just in case we actually get some of these. I don't think we will but in case we do I want him to transport that stuff as well. Yeah, no, he, we will get some coal from time to time, so, um, and it will go into the trunk, so, yeah, that, yeah, that, that's good. That is good. The big reason why you don't want only one zombie transporting is because there's so many resources from there that you're going to want that one zombie is not going to be able to transport it uh, efficient enough uh, especially not since it's so far away and it's enough uh, different kinds of resource that if you're unlucky some reasons resources won't be uh, transported at all and that's why you want uh, to set like to set the filters for the portal stations to have their own uh, things that they transport because if you don't set it uh, it's going to be interesting which I'm going to actually take and make the last one as well. Because why not? I'm going to need more paper in the kitchen. And what I'm going to do is make 32 of these. I will most likely get to debuff from this. Maybe, I might not actually, but... I didn't, okay. Let's see if we can cut this open. should go down here and pick up this add or more like this I'm at map and I have gone way over, I can see now. Wow. Way to go. TTG, remembering time or not. I, uh, uh, yeah. Yikes. This is a 40 minute episode. That's not what I want. Because they take a lot longer to upload.
Uh, right. Uh, there was something I wanted to do before I forgot about it. But it seems I have already forgotten about it. Uh, yeah, so let's just end the episode. Because this does not need to be any longer. Uh, to be honest. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot about time. I was so sucked up and engrossed in uh, engrossed in what I was doing. So, but anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.